Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. Today we're looking at discount factors. This is the Excel for Finance tips section. If you want to have a look at this spreadsheet, you can download it from ExcelExperts.com. Now, what is a discount factor? It's something that's absolutely, absolutely crucial to all of finance. It is simply a number that you multiply a cash flow by in order to, to work out what it is worth to you right now, today. So let's have a look at what that actually means in reality. So in, th in this example, I'm assuming that our cash flow is one. It's one pound, one dollar, one yen, w whatever, but it's one. In year zero, that means today, right now, that value is worth one. So if I were to have a promise from somebody sitting next to me with one pound in their pocket that they were going to give me that pound in the next five minutes, they're chained to my sofa. I've got a hacksaw ready to chop the hand off if they don't give it to me. They're going to give it to me. So that is worth one. Suppose they want to borrow it for one year. Well, what's that worth to me today? Well, 0.95. Suppose somebody says, right, I want you to lend me um, a pound and I'll give it back to you in a hundred years time. Well, what's that worth to me today? Well, absolutely nothing. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to be dead unless I'm cryogenically frozen. So that's, that's about how much it'll be worth. So here is a curve of the discount factor over time. What we know is that at time zero today, right now, it's one. And then over time, it decreases, but at a decreasing rate, such that it tends off towards zero when time increases to a long time. Now, if you're trying to present value cash flows, what you need is interest rates. Because that is the that is the link. If somebody is completely credible, there's no inflation and interest rates are zero, well maybe a pound today is worth a pound in the future. It just doesn't doesn't change. I can't invest it. There's no inflation. Well, so there's our discount factor curve stays at one. Suppose interest rates are at 20%. Well, what happens now? Well, guess what? The time value of money, it changes very, very, very rapidly, such that in a short period of time, it's worth nothing. So with interest rates at 20%, in somebody promised, promises to pay me back one pound in 10 years' time that they borrowed today. Well, that's only worth... 13p to me today. So the discount factor curve is dependent on the level and the shape of the interest rate curve. We'll go more into that, de in that detail in late, later um, sessions, but that's the basics of discount factors. You've been listening to excelexperts.com.